shameless copy or respectable homage to the original. Does it really even matter as long as the gameplay is fun? 3 dot Game Heroes takes the gameplay design of the original NES Legend of Zelda, adds in a few perks from the later games in terms of weapons and variety of enemies, and is essentially a new game for the Zelda fanatic. It is completely fair to make that comparison. 3 dot Game Heroes draws direct references to the original from bombing holes in the walls of dungeons, lifted and slightly modified music tracks, gameplay progression, and more. Part of the reason why you play this game is to compare it to the original inspiration while finding novelty in the parodies. Every now and then, among the independent PC video game development scene, a new game comes out that shamelessly rips off another title while throwing its own slight spin on things. Kind of like how Rosencruz Stilette lifts directly from Mega Man, although it's not that dramatic in this game. This is essentially the same sort of thing, except the production values are a bit larger. Despite the fact that you can create your own 3D character with a very powerful in-game tool, even allowing you to make an exact Link replica, the gameplay is still pretty strong. I would not consider 3 Game Heroes just a ripoff, which I do say in a loving sense because that is part of this thing's purpose. Enemies act and react just as they should in a title like this, and from the gigantic sword that you swing when you have full health, to all of the various secondary weapons that you can carry from your boomerang to bow and arrow, everything responds just as you want it to. The boss designs take it a step further as well, not just parodying titles from yesteryear, but going beyond the Call of Duty to create some bad badass encounters. The gameplay is generally good stuff. What bugs me about 3 Game Heroes is that it never really catches its stride in becoming something more. The game's opening tells you that it is a parody. It remains a parody the entire way through. While other parody games, like No More Heroes, will still attempt to build up some sort of interesting narrative throughout the course of the game, 3 Game Heroes takes the easy way out by propping itself up entirely as a parody. You still need to talk to every villager to make sure that you don't miss anything, and there still are throwaway storyline references here and there, thus your time is still bogged down and you do need to indulge in all of this, but it never actually amounts to anything. The main character you play as has no investment or stake in anything that he does. Therefore, it feels like you do not really even matter when you play this game. You simply continue on because there's nothing better to do other than possibly turn the game off. In some ways, the lack of care given to the storyline does not matter. It's fun to explore the colorful overworld, at least in the beginning. It's fun to explore the dungeons, and I had a great time figuring out the moderately simplistic dungeons which harken back to a day where they weren't all just glorified Switch puzzles with beautiful, illustrated background scenery. A lot of 3 Game Heroes is very fun, but do you want to know where it falls apart at least a little bit when you're forcing yourself to talk to everyone in that new town you arrived in and they all want you to run bitch work errands, corresponding with other characters all over the world that you can barely even remember the names of? It is just not that fun. Exploring the land is enjoyable, but catering to the cardboard cutouts in a world that tells you that they do not actually matter is not the most exciting thing you could possibly do. Towards the end, when the jokes do wear themselves out as they are very simplistic, even the exploration will feel dry. 3 Game Heroes does not seem like it believed enough in itself to really build itself a very great and creative world. 3D Dot Game Heroes is also a little too simplistic in terms of gameplay. Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past was a pretty simple game all in all, but it had a great gameplay based hook in that you travel between two different worlds. Future Zelda games contain comparable features as well. 3D Dot Game Heroes has nothing like this, nothing that's ever just a little bit more. While the argument can be made that the game draws its inspirations from the days of when there were no crazy twists of this sort, you can also just as easily make the argument back that it's pretty convenient that a game decides to draw its inspirations from something so simplistic that it requires so little creative effort. 
3D Dot Game Heroes has good gameplay, particularly in the dungeons, that kept me coming back while I was playing it. About halfway through though, I got tired of the overworld exploration, and then about three fourths through, I barely wanted to even play this game anymore. For the gamers starving for an extremely simple experience, you will probably be able to overlook some of my qualms. If you've played older great classic titles, but you've also been spoiled by today's innovations, you should still find some value in this game, but it is not the ultimate pinnacle of a retro experience that some people have made it out to be. 3D Dot Game Heroes is a good game, but it is not my favorite game of the year by any stretch. 3D Dot Game Heroes for the PlayStation 3 receives a 6 out of 10.